My family and I live in Arizona and we occasionally visit our Navajo family in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We left early to get there by noon or less. It is a very long and boring trip there. But we get there before noon and we have time to mess around and talk with our extended family. And we, kids, start to play around till the evening starts to show. The house is too small for everyone to fit and sleep in. Some of the kids have to sleep in the trailer and truck camper, but two of my cousins and I had the amazing luck of sleeping in the old slightly torn tent. We are well asleep at this point and for some unknown reason I wake up. Of course, I'm still tired and rubbing my eyes while yawning, meaning I wasn't well aware of my surroundings. Once I finish rubbing my eyes, I look straight at the entrance of the tent and see a figure, illuminated by the back porch light, standing in front of the tent. At first I was scared, but thought it was my other cousins just messing with us. As this person was still standing outside our tent looking at us, I turned to one of my older cousins who was two years older than me to wake him up and tell him that someone was standing outside of our tent. He tries to brush me off, but I persist and he turns to me and asks me what I wanted. I tell him to look at the entrance of the tent, and he does. I've never seen someone go from the brink of sleep to sheer panic and alertness in their eyes that fast before. He looks at me with this panicked face and tells me to be quiet. He whispers to me that it's a skinwalker and that we need to be quiet again. We lay there for the longest time and from my memory it was at least an hour or more. We were just about to go back to sleep because it hadn't done anything. Then it started to move around the tent. Remember when I said this was an old tent? Yeah, it had some holes in it. One of the holes was the size of a quarter and I decided to be brave. As it continues to walk around the tent a fourth time, I slowly crawl towards the hole and try to take a look. As I did this, my cousin told me to get back to the bed or it'll hurt us. Of course, as a kid, I ignore the warning. I'm at the quarter size hole and looking out to see whatever it was. It comes around the hole and what I saw was bone chilling. I bolt back and hide under my sleeping bag while my cousin does the same. This thing decided to stop moving and start looking at us again. I hid under the covers and spent every ounce of energy being scared. And then I finally fell asleep. I woke up early, maybe around 5, and I decided...